We might not have imagined being sucked into an airplane engine, not even in our wildest dreams. There's a possibility that you could get trapped in the engine due to suction. How can you escape death if you get sucked into the engine? What shouldn't you do to worsen the situation? You can imagine the amount of power and force used to keep the humongous airplane flying. The soul of the airplane is its engine, and it can easily suck your soul into it. The fan of the engine rotates continuously and surpasses more than 2,800 times in a single minute. It can chop off anything if placed inside it, including a human being. A huge amount of air is required to be sucked into the engine for its working. The suction power the engine has is astonishing. The fan in the engine is 9 foot diameter and the blades are usually made up of nickel based super alloys. Inside the engine, there is a compressor where the shaft is packed with this kind of blade. The air which is sucked into it is compressed and later on mixed with the fuel. This causes an electric spark and that's how the gases expand. In total, the engine requires a minimum of 1.2 tons of air per minute. There will be a low air pressure at the time of takeoff as the engine starts to suck air. This is why the airport staff make sure that everyone and everything is clear before taking off. Otherwise, you could get sucked into it easily. No matter how much you weigh, it's nothing before the suction power of the engine. There will be a slight air pull around the engine and you can be easily pulled into it. The engine blades could chop a person into minuscule bits before you can even alert someone. The chances of being rescued after getting trapped in an airplane engine are little to nothing. If someone gives you a hand, then the fate of the other person will be the same as yours. Parts of your body would get sliced and diced into even smaller pieces as it passes through the compressor. As we take a further look into the engine, you can see that it's packed with tiny blades. The blades can juice you up, leaving not even one piece of flesh behind. But the mechanism of the engine would drastically affect if a person gets sucked into it. If you're wondering what we're talking about is the probability and that no one has ever experienced being sucked into an airplane engine, then you're wrong. Some cases made the public aware of the possibility of getting sucked into an airplane engine. The A319 aircraft engine in India killed an engineer. The engineer was sucked into the blades of the engine and died brutally. Deaths like these are horrific and the victims go through hell. It was in 2015 at the Mumbai airport this horrific death took place. The co-pilot was careless enough to mistake the signs of ground staff. As a result of this mistake, the pilot took off the airplane while the engineer was still there near the engine. There was a similar incident where a body of a man was mutilated after getting sucked into the blades of an engine. This person was lucky enough to survive the deadly blades, but life after that was more miserable than death. Is there any person who survived the engine without facing mutilation? Let's take you back into history. The year was 1991. Operation Desert Storm was taking place. A 21-year-old young man was checking the catapult when he was sucked into the engine. He crashed the accident without any severe injuries because his goggles and coat got sucked in at first. This blocked the blades, which led to a huge explosion, saving the man's life. As he got enough time to move away from the engine, this man will be on the list of the luckiest men on Earth. If you're ever near an engine, run away from there as quickly as possible. The back of the engine would give jet blasts, and the front of the engine would suck you into it. Either you'll be blown off, or you'll be crushed to death. The only way to save yourself is to never go near the engine during takeoff. Would you become more alert after knowing about the chances of getting sucked into an airplane? Have you ever experienced something similar? Let us know in the comments.